Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about kitchens. What's up everyone? My name is John Hugarty with the Hugarty Homes Realty Group. Today, we're going to talk about kitchens and how to make a cramped kitchen feel bigger. So the kitchen may not be the hub of the home anymore, but it's definitely the room that most Americans end up spending the most time in. And with tiny kitchens, it's even more of a challenge with minimal storage and minimal workspace. So we scoured advice from home design experts to ease that cramped feeling. First of all, let's talk about clutter. Do you own an abundance of one type? of object say coffee mugs here come with me let me show you my collection of coffee mugs you see any room left in there I actually told my wife a few weeks ago that I was done putting the coffee mugs in the cupboard because I was tired of looking for room so here's where they go now So here's another example. How often do you use a vase? Do you use them often enough to own a whole collection? Or can you pick your top favorite two and then give the rest to, you know, charity, donate them, have a garage sale, anything like that? When you rid yourself of the excess in your cupboards, your kitchen will instantly feel bigger. If you want more tips on how to declutter, you can go to apartmenttherapy.com and I'll be linking that down in the description. So our next tip comes from our gardening friends. If life throws you a small yard, go vertical. Consider installing the following items to your kitchen walls. Magnetic knife strips, hooks for everything from towels to small kitchen implements, hanging pot racks, shelves to hold up anything from your dinnerware to that vase collection. So one final thing about going vertical is if you can afford new cabinets, ditch yours if they don't go all the way up to the ceiling. That's just wasted space that could be put to better use. So the next thing you could do is to install pull-out drawers in deep kitchen cabinets. Even the tiniest kitchen has an under the sink cabinet and it's typically quite deep and holds rarely used items. Consider installing pull-out drawers in this. If you live in the Springfield area, you could find some of these slide-out drawers at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. Now for you real thrifty people, you could just get plastic bins or wire baskets to use as pull-out drawers. And the folks over at goodhousekeeping.com have a lot of great ideas on how to use these. So besides clutter and installing cabinets, which is basically a way of being more organized in your kitchen, there's also a way to give the impression that your kitchen is bigger by installing new lighting. So even if you have lots of natural light in your kitchen, consider putting under cabinet lighting in as well. The light will fill in the shadows underneath the cabinets, reducing the contrast and giving the impression of a larger kitchen. Under lighting cabinet solutions range anywhere from hardwired to battery operated to those that you plug into an outlet. Again, if you live in the Springfield area, you can find some lighting solutions at places like Lowe's, Home Depot and Menards. By the way, they just put a Menards in up the road from me. I'm so happy I never have to run all the way across town just for a nail. Thank you, Menards. So our last tip for the day is wall collars. As boring as it may sound, Ann Wilson over at BHG.com says white walls are the best thing for small kitchens. Quote, White walls, ceilings, and backsplashes reflect light and make the perimeter of a small kitchen recede, which causes the room to appear larger makes sense. Now she does also go on to say to add a splash of robin's egg blue or a cheery yellow in accessories or on an accent wall to bring some more interest to the room. Well there you have it folks. There's five tips on how you can make your kitchen feel less cramped. If you have some of your own tips or you've experimented with your own ideas, leave a comment below letting us know how it went. As you can see, we've employed some of our own tricks like this pot hanger rack up here and this island. This island actually moves. So we can put it anywhere we want. <sighs> Thanks again for stopping by, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button below. And if you want to see more quality content from us, hit that subscribe button, and we'll keep bringing these to you every week, every Tuesday. Thank you, and you all have a great day.